Okay, someone is cooking and it smells amazing. So no doubt she smells that. <laughs> Plus we've had some wind and some motorcycle type noise. Um, so I'm giving her some downtime, which remember she couldn't handle very well last week, meaning she took that opportunity every time to react to something when I wasn't, you know, asking her to do something. So I'm going to give her some downtime and then show how we can eventually use the training to stop these bouts of reactivity. And then hopefully while working out here, we're also building a good association to being out here. And then we don't have to stop them. We start to prevent them. Okay. So it's like she's had some downtime for a while. So, it, <laughs> so it, Charlie, touch try to get her to be quiet so I can talk. So the, it almost feels like she has to find something to get into because no one's telling her what to do because I'm not telling her what to do. So that's obviously not how dogs think, but that's what it feels like being out here with her. So I'm giving her the downtime because I know she will quote, get into something within a few seconds or a minute. Okay. So I'm going to wait on that again. And I'm just kind of standing here, not looking at her, leaning against the railing, waiting for her next reaction. Of course, preferably we're proactive. We don't wait for her to have a little freak out and then we react to it. Eventually we prevent it in the first place, but I'm waiting to see how strong the training is and if I can use the training to stop these freak outs right now. That will be step one. I hope that makes sense, but we'll talk about it all in that last lesson. What you doing? Charlie. Okay, so we got a big one there. Charlie, go place. Stay. Good job. Stay. Okay, she is staying. <laughs> Make that point. Nope, okay. So I won't treat that, but I'll definitely treat if she's on place. What in the world? Okay, place. Good, stay. The other thing is you guys, while I'm doing this really long <laughs> or getting long video, this is a dog that's just not gonna be able to handle a lot of learning at one time. You know, if I didn't have to drive here, if I live next door, I'd say let's do six 10 minute sessions rather than one one hour session because that would be something that she would handle better okay so once you guys get to the point where you're practicing charlie touch okay there was prevention right there she was eyeing the fence so i just stopped it before it started um anyway once you get to the point where you're practicing it'll be super short sessions so that she can absorb it and we don't lose her. Okay, so we've been out here, we've had a great first 10 minutes, but then in, those, in that last minute, I felt like I was losing her to the environment. And so if I lived here, I would go in and take a break with her. Okay, we saw none of this for the first 10 minutes. We did some great training, and then it was like the environment won out. The environment is stronger. Kiddo. Okay, that was just me tapping her butt. Charlie! Go place. Stay. So really short stays. Stay is really hard when everything inside is <laughs> coiled up like a tight spring. Charlie! Place. Stay. Good. Find it find it is much easier than stay when you're a coiled up spring. <laughs> Charlie, touch. Good. Find it. Touch. Find it. And I'm actually going to let her in with Rebecca for a minute here just to take a break and reset. Touch. Find it. Big one. Charlie, touch. Sit. Find it. Charlie, touch. 
Good job. Find it. Hi. Sit. Good, Charlie.